Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the 3D world. What that means is you're going to learn how to interact with the camera of the 3D world to change your view. So notice here's a 3D world and it's encased in this window called a viewport. So this is your current view of the 3D world. Now if you want to interact with the camera of the 3D world, you can use a mouse, keyboard, track or touchpad, or even a 3D mouse. We're going to keep things simple by first using a mouse. So what you first want to do is put the pointer of your mouse inside the viewport, and then if you want to rotate the camera, hold down the right mouse button, and then drag the pointer to rotate the camera around its center of your current view. So I'm rotating around these components. Now if you want to pan the camera, hold down the left and right mouse buttons, and now I can just drag the pointer to pan the camera left and right, or up and down. If you want to zoom the camera, just rotate your mouse wheel forward to zoom in, or rotate the mouse wheel backward to zoom out. Now if your mouse does not have a wheel, you can hold down the shift key and the right mouse button and then drag the pointer to zoom in and zoom out. Now if you want to center the camera on a certain object in the 3D world, point to that object or its location, like I've done here, right click, and then click this command here called center in 3D view. You notice the camera now centers on that object. A shortcut for this command is to hold down the control key and just right click an object or a location. So I'll just right click there to center on that point in the conveyor or right click here to center on the robot. Now at some point you might get lost in the 3D world. It happens to us all. So if I actually pan the camera all the way over here, you know, I can't see anything, where am I? Well, if you get lost, just go over here to the 3D world toolbar and click this command here called all. So this will fit everything within your view of the 3D world. And notice the shortcut for that is the control key plus the F key. And yep, there are the components. Let's say you want to focus or fit your view on a selected component or object. So here I've selected this block and I just want to focus my whole view on this. So if I actually move the camera over here, where is my selection? Well, a quick fix for that, go over to the 3 World toolbar and click this command here called Fill Selected. So notice this fits your view to what you have selected in the 3D world. Now, how does this work when you're moving the camera in the drawing world? Well, let's see that in action. So I'll go here and click the Drawing tab. And this changes the context of the workspace. And notice now I'm seeing the drawing world, which is a 2D space. So I can't rotate the camera. But if I hold down the left and right mouse buttons, I can now pan the camera like I could in the 3D world. I can also zoom in and zoom out. I can fit everything within my view. I can select an object and view it like so as well. And I can also center my camera. So if I click here, center in view, hold down the control key and center it over here. Now let's say you want to work with a 3D mouse and the preferred approach is to use one hand with a 3D mouse and the other hand with your normal mouse. And you can obviously use a 3D mouse with the 2D drawing world. So I'll go back to the Home tab to display the 3D world. And go ahead and plug in your 3D mouse, and you might need to update a driver or two. And notice I'm now using my 3D mouse to fly the camera around in the 3D world. Ooh, ah, amazing. And notice I can still move the mouse pointer around with my other mouse using my other hand. So let's actually fly the camera up just a bit. And notice while I'm flying the camera, I can select an object as well. So this really does boost your productivity when using the software. One helpful tool for navigating the 3D world is the view selector, which you can see down here in the bottom left corner of the 3D world viewport. Notice this block indicates the six sides of your global 3D world view. So we have the front view, the back view, the left side view, the right side view, the top view, and the down view. Now you can interact with the camera to go to these various views, or you can make life easy and use these arrows. So if I click this up arrow, for example, the camera moves up, and if I click it again, I now have a top-down view, which is very helpful when building layouts. If I want to move the camera down, I'll just click the down arrow, and the camera moves down. Now if I want to rotate the camera to either left or right to go to a different view, I can just click this right arrow here to rotate the camera right, and it steps to a 45 degree value. What that means is that if I rotate the camera just a bit and click this right arrow, the camera just steps to its next 45 degree interval. So it's not going to be, you know, 15 plus 45 degrees, it's just going to go 45, 90, 135, and so forth. So if I want to move the camera to the left, it rotates to the left, rotate to the right. Now if you are using a 3D mouse, depending on what 3D mouse you have, there is a button for using a radial menu for going to different types of views. So notice right now I'm using my space mouse to fly in and out, and I click a button, and now I have this view. I can either go to the top view, front view, or right view, or I can just fit everything. So I'll use the right view, do it again to go to top view, and go to the front view. And then if I just want to fit everything within my view, there you go. The last thing I want to show you is how to navigate the 3D world while running a simulation. 
So right now in the 3D world I have a life sciences layout loaded and you can find that layout available in our Webby catalog. So if I run the simulation I can't really see what's happening in the layout. Now you can interact with the 3D world camera while running a simulation. So for example you can zoom in, you can pan the camera, you can rotate it, you can center the view, you can fit your view to everything in the 3D world, or you can fit your view to a selection like so. So this helps you get a better sense and view of what's happening in your layout, so you can view all the action. So this machine's creating capsules, the capsules move along this conveyor line, this machine takes off the caps, and this machine is doing another process. Now you can also use a 3D mouse while running a simulation, so I actually can just fly the camera a bit for you, and see how it works. I can use that shortcut option again to get a right view, like so. Now if you want to use your trackpad or touchpad while running a simulation, you can do that too. So notice I can just use a two-point gesture to zoom in and zoom out. Now, a couple notes I want to leave you with before I end the video. If you want to adjust the zoom factor of the camera, you can go backstage by clicking the File tab, click Options, and then under General Options, notice you have this option here called Scroll Wheel Zooming. So if I actually set this to a higher level and click OK to save the change, I can now zoom in and zoom out at a much greater distance. But I'm actually going to change that back. So I'll click the File tab again, click Options, and this time I actually will just type it manually in there. So let's actually type this to be 0.30, like so. Remember to click OK to save the change. And the other thing I want to mention is that if you want to have an indication of where the origin of the 3D world is, what you can do is I'll go and reset this uh, simulation. I'll clear my layout. And now if I just wander around the 3D world, you know, I have no sense of where its origin is. So to turn on a frame in the 3D world that indicates its origin, I'll click the File tab, go to Options, and then click Display Options. So notice here for under just Floor Display Options, there's this option here called World Origin Frame. So if I select this checkbox, click OK to save the change, I now get an indication of where the 3D World origin is, so it's right there. All right, this includes a video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.